It can be a nightmare to take your child to a boarding school and realize later that they're not being looked after properly. In some cases, it might lead to death, as has been the case in a number of schools. Unfortunately, accusations about neglect of children and complaints about the deteriorating duty of care for students in boarding schools has been all too rampant in the last few years. In May 2023, the death of a female student from St. Monica Senior High School stoked controversy in the education sector. According to reports, the student was denied an exit she sought from her house mistress to visit home for medical help. A similar situation occurred in the Jamana Ekenten Senior High School in February 2020, where a second-year male student died in his dormitory after he was reportedly denied exit. In October 2017, Another issue of delayed exit reportedly caused the death of a student in Bogotanga Senior High School. And in March 2013, the death of a final year student of Ifia Kobigao Senior High School was recorded under similar circumstances. These are only few among a number of widely reported cases and the not so popular ones. But nothing has triggered the conversation as much as the case of Ebri Girls. I then a madam and one family banan co hospital and scientists and I'm a bolly bam boy. I have to drive over a view from bolly bam boy. Same family bank hospital. Hey, in fact, health care has been the primary focus of the issues and the complaints by parent teacher associations over the commitment of school authorities and catering for the awards are beginning to escalate. Hearing the stories and the news put me in panic mode most of the times, especially when you know that your child is in first year and this is the first time the child is leaving home to be in the care of someone you hardly know. If you have just one nurse taking care of over a thousand students, it's a problem. But are there really any protocols guiding health care towards students in boarding schools? Our senior high schools have huge health and safety facilities deficits in addition to protocols that are not written. It becomes very difficult. Well, as the matter remains an issue of concern, the Ghana Education Service has finally broken silence a week since the latest incident. In a statement, they commiserated with the family of the late Ebri girl student and listed out initiatives they claim would assure a safe and learning environment for students, including the deployment of a nine-member team of counselors to beef up the guidance and counseling department at the school. The service, however, remained tight-lipped on the way forward regarding health protocols in senior high schools. So then, what is the solution? Executive Director of Think Tank Africa Education Watch says the handling of health cases cannot be left to the discretion of teachers and school authorities. He's calling for clear-cut protocols. We must have clear protocols for the establishing, the resourcing, the management of sick base or infirmaries. We should also have protocols for the management of cases when they emerge in school. And for some parents, contributions by the parent association to schools should be formalized. The suggestions seem laudable, deeming the recurrence of such death cases. But as to whether they will indeed be implemented, only time will tell. For now, internal investigations into the death of a Form 1 student at a Brigel Senior High School are still underway. Judith Brown, TV3 News.